What's up everybody, Tino here, that there's Hannah Warrior Princess, say hello. Hi. We are going to drop off some toys and some dishes at a couple of our booths this morning. Do a little restocking. Got a bunch of new stuff on yesterday's episode that I'm excited to put in my booth. But also I'm going to start putting games in this booth. Our other, our other booth across town has plenty of games in it, but this one does not. So let's get started with that and then we'll go to a couple thrift stores. All right. here this is not mine set that aside bruh <laughs> Some, at least somebody had fun huh check this bad boy out these things sell for quite a bit online so very happy to have this I don't know if I want to make room for it up here. I think I do. I think let's toss these in that basket down there. Let's just get this bad boy on here. You know what? I mean, we can, yeah, we can display some of them on it. Check it, the perfect display stand. Looks good. It's just long enough for the longest trains they make. Checks out. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. It belongs here. Tell me that ain't bomb right there. Scoot them up. So sticker wise, I'm excited to see how these do. I got them in the mail yesterday on yesterday's episode and uh haven't tried selling anything like this but it's just all like you know, there's flash ninja turtle just all the superheroes thanks guys Have a good day. all right made some good changes just literally while we were putting stuff in just sold my most expensive gun so it's already a good day I need one more of these shelves so I can move the Beyblade stuff down and I plan on this whole shelf here being video games. Right now I put my best extra stuff, which apparently didn't do a good job putting it in. Uh, just the stuff I had that was in good shape, I put it in here. And uh, I've taken to writing notes on what the contents look like and then taping it up. So maybe we can avoid a little theft, but we'll see. Also, my favorite newest edition Pokemon shelf, just like at our other booth, but it needs some more stuff. Those Pikachus don't really fit on there, but uh, I'm happy with that. Super, super happy with that Thomas the Tank display. I kind of don't want it to sell. I like the way it looks there. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else is good? I don't know. I think that's going to be it for today. I'm starting to fill out these shelves with pops. I'd like to get that whole thing filled out with inbox pops. That'd be good. Oh, we're selling these shirts really quick. I can't get enough of them in fast enough. The whole idea behind putting that in here was that we would just buy a dozen of those every time we went to the bins, but the bins still isn't really an option right now. So that's not happening. So I'm thinking about replacing that for now with a better display for Legos and putting Lego stuff over there. And then maybe bring back the clothes rack or get a smaller one in the future uh, or build a clothes rack on top of the Lego display. I don't know. We could get weird in here, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. So let's get out of here and go to the thrift store. All right, check it out. We've got my booth time. I've got a few more things to pop in here. I don't have a ton, but I've been selling Tupperware like crazy. So I'm really excited about that. And then some more corning wear. I don't have a ton of these dish. Well, I have a lot of this specific dish apparently. Um, and then, oh, that one's a little bigger. That's okay. And, never tried to sell one of these but i thought it was kind of cute so 
gonna put that in here. Gotta start growing onto the wall because I need more shelves. But got another little vintage measuring spoon. Put that next to the other one, I guess. Then little another little wildflower jar or pan. Um, there we go. I don't have a ton of that pattern, so I'm glad to be adding a little bit more to it. And then two more anthropology mugs and we're good to go. Let's see. I don't, ah, the other one's back there. I think I'm gonna put these up here. Well, probably not, because they don't both fit. Put that one there and then that one will go there. So I've got A, C, and D. Well, that'll work, okay? Just look at that. That's a big sale right there. So a couple days ago on the channel, we bought a huge Lego haul, and in that Lego haul was this Lego branded bottle opener, which we were pretty excited about because uh, we're at the restaurant that is attached to one of our flea markets and we are grabbing lunch here. We do this like two or three times a week. They always have these fancy sodas and we don't have a bottle opener. They have one up front, but you know, it's way cooler if you do it yourself. Oh, let's go. Hannah, never take this out of your purse, okay? Now I'm gonna try your root beer. I got something pretty. I don't know if I like that or not. It's very interesting. Um, it's called Jackson Hole Soda. Strawberry rhubarb. Oh, I heard you say strawberry rhubarb. It's very strawberry tasting. This is a, a rose lemonade. You know your boy likes lemonade. Mine's a twist top, though. That's right up my alley. Mm. I do recommend. I don't know about this, though. Here, you try it. Let's see what you think. Rhubarb. Should I do yours first or mine? Uh, do yours. Might will overpower yours. Oh, I like that. Do you? I you, do. You would. Yeah, that's really good. What do you think? It tastes weird after this one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are on to the thrift, and there were a bunch of Nerf guns missing from my booth, so I need to go replenish those. What are you looking for? Uh, stuff? Shelves. <laughs> shelves. Shelves to put your stuff on? I was hoping you just say stuffs. Stuffs. Holy restocking cart. All right, I found a bunch of Tupperware. Very excited. I've got this uh, yellow bowl, which I do already have, but I like that one got another one of these it's got the wrong color lid on it but I ain't mad about it at least it has a lid um, but these little canisters with the prints on the front are pretty sought after these two are pretty curious this is a little expensive so I'm probably not gonna get that one um, there's one here that's not Tupperware but it's the same thing and then this bigger one's kind of cool it's a big like fruit tray thing which is pretty nice Three twenty nine is not bad for that. Um, I'm gonna look it up to see if it's actually worth getting, but uh, yeah, it's not a bad Tupperware haul. Yay! Went ahead and grabbed a cart because all of these PC games are on that restocking cart. I don't know anything about them. They might be absolutely worthless, but after I get done looking through the toys and stuff, we'll give them a scan and see if any of them are worth anything. I'm not trying to collect any, but if I can make a buck off of them, we might. Not much shaking in the glass baking section. No Corningware or Pyrex. I mean, there's some. Wait, what's this? Sweet! It's a Pyrex lid. I always find this dish without the lid on it. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh, some Friendship Birds. It's too expensive, but she cute. Very, very excited about this. Yes. Checking the clocks real quick. And boom. Fine. Buying it. It's not a lot of other clocks, but I did want to show this just for our Canadian watchers, Tim Hortons. I hear good things. All right, so these games are sealed, so I'm going to leave them that way. This is the only one of the rest of these games that was open and the stuff's still in there. The game's in there. Cool. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, this game was in there too. Uh, 
it's still sealed up inside in the case, in the, in the CD case. These three, though, are missing the games. The books are still in there, but the games are gone. Whoever donated all that just kept those. Um, and none of them are worth quite enough for that to be worth anything on its own. So I'm going to get these, probably put a couple of them in my booth, put a couple of them on eBay, something like that. But pretty happy with that. All right, we've got Amerizone, I think is what that says. Military Simulator. Harpoon 2 Deluxe sealed. Harpoon 2 not deluxe sealed. And look at all this harpoon. I guess Harpoon 2 Admiral's Edition. Jesus, there's another one. I didn't even see it. Is that two copies of the same one? We'll probably have to put a big bundle on eBay of those. What did Hannah find? Tupperware? All right, let's talk about what we got real quick. You got some dishes, yeah? I did. I got some yellow Tupperware, some orange Tupperware, and a Pyrex lid. I correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I remember you saying most of what you sold in your booth so far has been Tupperware. Pretty much, yeah. Like the bigger majority of what's sold anyways. I bought this clock right here. Uh, it's in great shape. So I'm thinking about just leaving it that way with John Cena, just flipping it for a few bucks. However, comment below your thoughts on this. I'm thinking about maybe modifying it into something cool because what I do know is that I should be able to get all that John Cena ink off of there actually quite easy and leave the shiny holographic bit, at which point I could uh, put like a holographic Pokemon card looking print on it or something really cool like that. I'd hate to do that to old John boy, but this clock is not uh, vintage or old or rare. It's a pretty cheap clock, so it wouldn't be... I wouldn't be sacrificing that much to do that. I don't dislike John Cena. I just think that that holographic opportunity there is too good of an opportunity to pass up. Because uh, yeah. I, I think that ink will wipe right off with some alcohol. That's usually the way that kind of thing works. Um, so that'd be cool. Comment below if I if I do take John off of there, what should I put in its place? Okay. We have never, to my knowledge, bought... Well, I wouldn't say never. We've bought... We have bought PC games, mostly Sims. Uh, but we never bought any really big box PC games. A couple times I've seen them in Goodwills, scanned them, and if any of them that I've ever seen are, are worth it, they either didn't have a, a code inside to activate the game or didn't have the disc, whatever. But there were a few factory-sealed ones in here. Uh, and then a couple not factory-sealed. And they all had ranging values on eBay. A couple of them sell for 20 30 I'm interested to see what reselling these possibly on eBay looks like, although uh, our booth out in the west end of town, it really seems like the kind of place... I'm selling a lot of vintage camera gear there, so I wonder if, you know, the odd PC game collector might come through there and they might be worth it there. We'll see. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them yet, but that was an interesting find for the day, so let's keep moving. This Goodwill we're about to walk into, as well as the last one that we just came from, were both Goodwills that we kind of felt like we haven't given a lot of love to recently, so we're checking it out today and seeing, making sure, trying to make sure we haven't missed anything. It's a pretty good Goodwill. All right, another corningware that I've never seen before. It's too expensive. Here's another one. I've never seen that one. Uh, price. Don't know. This one, this lid doesn't go with it. So, okay, that's strange. $14. Yeah, I feel like I'm not gonna have any luck with corningware at this place. Yeah, no, no one's really faded, but still expensive. All right, well, there's another one I've never seen. Well, that's weird. Someone's collection was just like all the obscure things. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. In my experience, almost all dark guns that you'll come across that aren't Nerf are pretty much a joke. Most most of them won't make you turn your head whenever it comes to comparing them to Nerf guns. But I keep seeing this and can't help but remark at how awesome it looks. Second or third one of these I've seen in a while. Still not really wanting to buy. If I ever find one super cheap, I will and I'll try it out. But it's quite interesting. It looks straight out of Halo. So I have a thing with these like enamel buckets. I really like this. There's three pieces for five dollars. That seems like it would be worth it. I don't know if there's any value in any of these, but I think in the booth it could be cool. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up to see if it's worth it. They just remind me of my grandma and I like it. Check this out. That Star Wars bin. 
I'm gonna take these home, paint them yellow, put them on my shelves and display my handhelds on them. How about that? That'd be dope. I just, I'm scared for what I just walked into here. This dishes section, plate section is just so full. I'm terrified to even touch anything. I'm definitely gonna try not to break something. This is kind of a bummer. It's one of those Lego boxes like I just put in my toy booth, different color. Would love to have it, but uh, it's broken. The, the latches on it are gone. There's a bunch of really cool shot glasses here. There's a bunch of like I Love Lucy ones and some Elvis. There's some Star Wars. These are pretty cool. I guess if you're a shock glass collector, that'd be pretty cool. This is getting funny. And here's the letter B in the Anthropology Cup. I guess I have to get it now. So I have A, C, and D. Well, now I have B. My obsession with little tiny animal pitchers continues. A little elephant pitcher. You put the water in there. It comes, the water comes out of its trunk. Super cute. All right, I didn't get anything too exciting there, but I got some stuff I was happy to find. This is a little uh, shelf add-on. You put this on your bookshelf and it's expandable to fit your size and you can display stuff. I think the the stairs on that are just big enough to fit the stands for my handhelds. Ooh, okay. So I was thinking Skylanders, but you know. That would be cool. I would like to find a bunch of these because that would be a nice, easy way to also tier some Skylanders for display, which I've recently been working on. Just playing all my Skylanders, Infinity, and Amiibo, but I paid uh, like a buck, two forty nine. dollars So I'm very happy about that. I just need more of them. Yeah. I really, really, really need more of them. Now, I do want to say there are things quite similar to this one, though it's not this exact one, that they sell at Joann's. So if you're looking for a cool way to add tiers to your bookshelves to display your handhelds and other small things, they sell stuff like that at uh, Joann Fabrics and stuff. So go go check those out. I've, I've long eyeballed some of that stuff, but I've always just thought, I'll find one at the thrift. You it's know a better I mean? way to find it anyway. Yeah, I like waiting for stuff like that. Now let's talk about what you got. I got, well, I mentioned earlier in the booth that I have A, C, and D of this particular cup. Now I have B. Very nice. I'm all. <laughs> Boom. You're just gonna have the whole alphabet. Just gonna unless, get the whole alphabet. Unless people start buying them. You know, it'd be kind of a cool thing to display up on a wall. Yeah. You know, on top of like your back wall. That'd be really A cool. through Z. Uh, what else did you get? I got this little. Wash bowl. Popcorn. Bowl. It looks like you should dunk your face in it. It's got a little popcorn bowl and things inside. So the little ones are for you, the big ones for me. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's not all I got. I got a vinyl cutter. This is the same vinyl cutter I use at home to make all that stuff that you see on the channel all the time. And uh, I bought this one because it's in really great shape. And uh, the one that I have is beginning to cut slightly inaccurately. So. I think it's because I dropped it at some point getting it out of the van yeah. and uh, I'll just I'll be able to switch out the charger and cables with that one and it should work the exact same unless it's on a different firmware model might have to flash it to a different firmware but uh, I got a new vinyl cutter we were talking about buying a brand new one anyways we're probably still going to but I figured maybe I can spend 20 bucks now and hold this over just a little bit that wind is blowing hard it is it's always this side of town all right Let's go to at least one more. I think we're gonna round it off with the third one today and quit, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I, I'm not promising nothing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Goodwill. We've been killing it a lot at this Goodwill lately, so hopefully that can continue today. I didn't find anything amazing, but there's um, a couple of like these jars that you use to hold utensils in the kitchen. And that's, I really need one of those. I've been looking for one for a while and I just can't find the right one. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just get one and paint it the way I want it. So now I'm keeping an open mind. This is way too big. That's just like a big canister without a lid. I mean, some of them are fine. I don't want to paint a brown one because that's going to be hard to cover. And painting a wood one would be a lot easier. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to mess with it today. Don't see a lot here. Just some Wii games. Most of it I have, but actually Sandlot Sluggers I do not have. Ooh, look at that. We think, think we should collect those. And that, oh baby, let's go.
What else we got? Let's go. Don't have that. All right, well, there's some games here I don't have for sure. I'm gonna have to spend a little more time looking at some of this stuff. Just double check it. I really love this idea that, you know, I could take some of these canisters and paint them into like little kitty and doggy treat bowls. I think that's so sweet. No way this keeps happening. There's just no way. 349 for a bunch of Star Wars pops. There's Vader, uh, General Krennic or something like that. I'm terrible with names, but uh, Chewbacca and then Colossus. Not even in the toys. I'm having the best luck with pops. I'm having a lot of good luck today. So big bag of Legos is 20 bucks, a little bit too much, more than I want to pay. But this Nerf gun, that there's two bucks and I will pay for that. All right, what's going on right now? Why is this Google so awesome? Look at this Mario buying that. I just sold one of these for like 15, 16 bucks at my other toy booth, the one we didn't go to today. So we'll be getting that. Not much uh, shaken in the salt and pepper shaker area. There's some interesting ones, but like this thing that's, I guess, supposed to be a dice, but a little lackluster in my opinion. An ox. This beautiful little onion, because uh, everybody thinks onions are beautiful. And just some rose gold topped ones, those are fine. I want something like really cute. <gasps> I'm not kidding you, I didn't get it on camera. This was underneath the toy racks on the ground, slid up under there. What? I, wasn't even, I was just walking over here and I was like, whoop, whoop, excuse me? Whoa. <laughs> I really want that game. All right, we gotta talk about that stop because that was a nice way to end the day. Uh, you know, some days we just thrift and thrift and go to like 10 different stops and that's all the day's about. Today, we kind of just ran to some thrift stops real quick and then we got some other work to do off camera. So we try to get in real quick. And sometimes those days, those videos where we do that, like they're not so great. You know, we don't find a lot of great stuff. Today was pretty awesome because this, these sell really well in our booth so i'm gonna replace the one i just sold uh this gun was really cheap it has a specific clip that came with it originally so uh i gotta wait till i come across one of those but i couldn't help myself two bucks so that was really good and then you didn't even see this on camera hold these you didn't even see this on camera because this was in a cart next to the cash register and that means it's go back. So I asked them when I walked in front, I said, is this belong to somebody or is these, are, are these go backs? They said they're go backs. So I bought this Megazord for four bucks. We also had, yeah, I just, <laughs> Hannah was like, why'd you take that out of that person's car? And I was like, I didn't. It was, I asked if it was go backs. And uh, yeah, so I sold the last one of these for like 30 bucks, 25, 30 bucks. So nice. I'll probably put this in the Mario right back where it was in our booth. Now, that's not all of it. Um, I actually bought more of these games than I intended to because I got so excited about the Luigi's Mansion. So we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but I bought Ace Combat, The Unsung War. Did not mean to buy it. I even overpaid a little bit for it. Too late now. I'll just put it in my toy booth for sale. Uh, the rest of these I did mean to buy. Alter Echo. Perfect pristine copy. Very happy about that. I have it. But it's in a really bad condition and doesn't have its manual. So I got a brand new one to put in my collection. Sweet. I'll put the other one in one of our toy booths. Uh, 4x4 Evo. Azric Rise of Parathia. Something I know <laughs> nothing about. So I was very happy to snag that up. And then Backyard Sports for the Wii. Sandlot Sluggers. Sweet. It looks dope, doesn't it? Uh, so that was a game I don't have also. Luigi's Mansion in the thrift store. It didn't have a price tag on it which was even more confusing. It doesn't even have residue, look at it. Like yeah. where a sticker should be, right? So it was slid up underneath the uh, uh, the toy rack when I was walking over to talk to Hannah and see if she got anything. And also the uh, the pops that I bought, which I for was almost forgot about. Uh, these pops were in the wrong location. It almost looked like somebody's walking around hiding all the good stuff to 
come back and get it cheaper later. I don't know. That's too big of a stretch, really, for just it those happens, two things. Though. People do do that. I've seen. I saw two guys hide a tripod in a couch once, nice. so that they could go home and get the money, and no one would buy it before they came back. I heard. I mean, they were just boldly doing that in the back of the Goodwill. That this probably wasn't that, but it was real odd that both of those things were so out of place. Like someone was hiding them. There was a bunch of very mischievous kids in there, though. Yeah, could have been them. Could have been, but also for that to not even. It might have been price had a price tag on it, but if someone got it off that cleanly, they were scheming hard, I guess. Yeah. So that's a and that's a pretty expensive game. I don't know exactly how much. Uh, we'll probably just throw it on the eBay and sell it because I already have this one, don't I? Or I don't we, remember which one we have. There's two 3DS Luigi's Mansions, and I don't know which one we do and don't have. We'll look when we get home. I'm pretty sure it's this one. But if it's if if it's not, we'll keep it. If it is, then we'll sell it. But we'll figure it out. But that, so let's talk about favorite things that we got today. What's your favorite thing you got? Probably the popcorn bowls. The popcorn bowls? Yeah, you like them a lot? Are I you do. Are you keeping them or selling them? I'll just sell them. But... Okay. Um, I'm stuck between these pops and this here. Hold the microphone real quick so I can use two hands. I'm trying to hold on to the microphone to block the wind because it's so windy over here in this part of town. Chewy, Aww. let's go. Colossus, is that his name? I'm sure I'll get roasted if it's not, but I'm pretty sure that's his name. I think his name's Director Krennic. Okay. Uh, might also have it wrong. He's one of my favorite actors. I uh, love that guy. And then two bases for two of the Star Wars ones. Uh, does it have names on them, or are they just generic stands? I guess they're just generic stands. <laughs> um, three stands, so one for all of them. And then Vader without his helmet. Creepy. Again, I don't, whenever we buy these pops, I never know whether or not they're valuable. We always, usually by the time you see this video, these were all, will already be posted on our eBay if they're for sale. And despite that, I still get messages every day. When we find a valuable pop, I get about 10 direct messages between our Discord and uh, Instagram telling me how valuable they are. Because we've got some, some pop, some pop fanatics watching. Uh, you guys comment below let me know what your favorite thing is. This might be my favorite pop we've ever found. I He's love, really cool. I love this guy. Um, yeah, you guys comment below. Let us know what your favorite thing that we found today was. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Tell me if any of these video games are any good, maybe. Because I don't know this. I don't even know that this looks good, but it looks like I have to know what's on there. You know what I mean? I've never played it. Uh, and same with Alter Echo. That one actually looks like it could be pretty good. The gameplay on it looks interesting. Uh, but that's it. And then before we get out of here, do me a couple favors. Hit that subscribe button. Help us out a little bit. Give us another sub. Help our numbers go up. We're doing pretty well, and I'd like to keep it that way is how I'm feeling. I'd like to keep increasing in subs as fast as we are. Also, before we go, check out our merch store, trash.com. Can't get this shirt there anymore. It's sold out, but that's where it came from. So go, go put your eyeballs on it and see what we got now. And then the last thing before we go, check out our public Discord. You can come over there and chat with us. And uh, it's, it's the proper way to get a hold of us. If you ever wanted to ask us a question etc etc you can drop a comment below no promises there but it's pretty easy to get a hold of us on the discord so go check it out over there and uh, that's gonna be it come back tomorrow because we do post daily videos here on this channel every single day a new thrifting video or something thrifting related i don't know uh i don't know what I'm, i i shouldn't promise you what we're gonna do anytime because tomorrow's video could be a ballet tutorial i don't know that's how <laughs> random our lives tend to be but at any rate guys come back tomorrow and hang out with us then and, and until then, peace out.